Hi everyone and welcome. You've made it to day 17. A prime number, so a great opportunity here to check back in with that very first intention that you made on day one and asking yourself, how's it going? Today our theme is embracing excitement and enthusiasm. So let's meet ourselves exactly whatever you're feeling whatever your level of excitement and enthusiasm is, and we'll build on from there. We'll do that in a physical way by doing hip openers and back bends. There's no need, again, for props. If you happen to have a block, it's great, but you really don't need it for, to do the practice. And let's get started. Let's begin in Sukhasana, and once you find your comfortable seat, closing your eyes, and I invite you to check in with your level of excitement and enthusiasm, and then let's look into any resistances that we might be feeling right now. Perhaps you got into this doing this for someone else. Maybe a friend brought you to the challenge and you're doing it together, which is wonderful. However, if you stay with it being someone else's desire, it eventually might lead to resentment, frustration, and you're feeling unfulfilled. That's going to drop your enthusiasm. Perhaps you've just set a goal where you're not actually giving yourself the tools that you need, like clothes that you can do your practice in comfortably, or maybe you're not giving yourself the time and the space to do your practice every day. Maybe you're not giving yourself permission when you do get on the mat to go and stay within your boundaries. So those are a few suggestions for you. Maybe you'll come up with other ones. So now fold your hands together in front of your heart. And to yourself, choose what you are willing to do. Enthusiasm, excitement needs action. It's a state of being that needs to be expressed, I would suggest anyway. And so we're going to express that by literally, what are you going to do? Maybe choosing to set an exact time, an exact space every day if you haven't done so already. Or just recommitting to the process, which is a big thing. Release your hands to your thighs. Gently open your eyes. Let's begin on our hands and knees. So if you do happen to have a blanket and you have sensitive knees, this is a good time to use it. And from hands and knees, start with a low lunge. Step your right foot right between your hands. Tuck your back toes under just to activate that lower leg. So the outer shin of your left leg is drawing in towards the midline. Now push your inner left thigh away from the midline. Tailbone goes down and then stretch up through the crown of your head and feel that stretch from head to toe and obviously the front of that left thigh. And then switch sides. Left leg forward. Same thing. You're feeling into your boundary. Taking the hips forward just to that point. You breathe, listen. 
Maybe after you've listened, you go deeper, maybe not. Switch back to the first side. So, now you've got your edge. Now, if you were cheating before, this is going to tell on you. In other words, you've got to engage your lower body and your abdominals because we're going to balance. So, hands to your front thigh to start. Anjaneyasana. So, feeling that warmth of the mother energy, of the excitement of being here on your mat. Start with your arms down by your side so you get that just balance, finding balance left and right. Then let's inhale our arms overhead when you have your balance. And choosing to either stay here or turning this back into a back bend. Draw the bottom tips of the shoulder blades together. Press them upward into your heart and lift up and back. Fingers shining brightly. Inhale up. Left hand down to the floor. Right hand down to the floor. See if you're paying attention. Take the back toes under, lift. And now we're really going to test, test our balance in crescent pose. Same exact thing. You can start with your hands on your thighs. Right knee bent 90 degrees. Right knee right over the ankle. And then when you're ready, lift the arms up. Lifting the hip bone, top of the hip bones up. Sitting bones are drawing down, choosing to stay here, or let's try bending our elbows out to the sides and feel how that helps the shoulder blades come onto the back. Now, maybe turn this into a back bend. Are you still breathing? Inhale up and switch sides. So left leg comes forward. Turn on your lower legs. Hands to the front thigh. Arms by your side. Find your balance. And then inhale. Arms up. When you're ready, you're turning this into a back bend. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be today. Maybe it's the third or fourth time you do this. Maybe. Inhale up. Hands to the floor. To make it easier to come into crescent, lift the back knee off the floor. Come back up when you're ready. Taking your time with it, inhale your arms overhead. Bend your elbows out to the sides, choosing today what does enthusiasm and excitement look like in your body today? Is there a back bend in you? Inhale, come up, hands to the floor. Step back leg forward to meet the right. And inhale your spine long. Come all the way up to standing. Now reach up through your arms. Exhale, your heart. Release your arms by your side. Get any props that you might have had out of the way. And Surya Namaskar A, flowing with your breath. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Maybe you choose a back bend here. Exhale, bow. 
Inhale, extend through your spine. Exhale, bow in. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Practitioner's choice. Either inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look in between your hands. That's where your feet are going. And choose, are you going to jump? Are you feeling like just, oh, I want to jump? Or do you want to walk? And do that. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Release your arms down. And draw your legs together. Bend your knees. So, Surya Namaskar B variation. Utkatasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. Step the feet back into plank. And exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, either Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot between your hands, whatever you need to do to get it there. And since we're doing a variation, let's do crescent. Inhale your arms up. Lower the arms. Go back into plank. Step the left leg forward. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, or down. You choose. Downward facing dog or another vinyasa. Lower down. Inhale up. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Look in between your hands. Walk or jump your feet forward. Bend the knees. Utkatasana. Stretch your arms up. Exhale. Hands in front of your heart as you come to standing. And release your arms down by your sides. Take a breath. And come to hands and knees. Now let's go into downward facing dog. Bring your knees to the floor. Anahata Asana. Take your, keep your knees and your hips in the same line. And then walk your hands forward. You can come onto fingertips. And then lift your arm bones up. Now already you might find, oh my goodness, this is really hard. So try placing your hands down first. And if that's still too intense, find a wall. And you're going to do the same thing, keeping hips over uh, your, well, at that point, it'll be over your ankles. And then start bringing your heart to the floor. So, bottom tips of the shoulder blades draw together, lifting the heart as you start to bring the hands to the floor. Again, you can come on to fingertips. That gives you more space. And then you curl the heart and play with it so you're not collapsing in the spine, you see. Deep breaths into whatever you're feeling. Eventually, the head needs to lift to get out of the way so you can go deeper. And then walk yourself back to hands and knees. And lie down on the floor. Stretch your arms forward. And come onto fingertips. Uncurl the toes. 
Lift the arm bones. Inhale, lift your chest. Again, feel that back bend here. And see if you can stay lifted. Take your hands behind your back, clasp your hands. And maybe your arms can help you lift higher. Lift, lengthen up through the crown of your head, brightly. And then release your hands forward again. Take a breath. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, stay lifted. Clasp your hands, take the other clasp. Lift. And then hands come back to the floor, fingertips lift. And then lower down hands, make a little pillow for your forehead. Cobra, Bhujangasana, thigh bones turn in, pelvis rooting. Before you even begin, the shoulders are not forward, right? They're open. You are very open and lift the heart. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. And maybe you found, wow, I can really go a little further than ever before. And then lower and tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Come to your knees. If you happen to have a block, this is a good opportunity. If you would like to grab it, so that you can put it right in between your the inside of your calves. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So toes are tucked under, you're standing on your knees to start. Feel the strength, the power of the lower body. It's like you're a building in excitement, starting down low. And you're feeling it bubbling up into your heart. Chest open, collarbones turning up. Stretch down through the arms, lift through your heart. And keep squeezing the block if it's there. If it's not, imagine something's there so that those outer shins are drawing in. Pelvis comes forward, thighs pull back. And back bend. Maybe you can find your heels. Maybe on the first one you're like, no. Inhale, come up. Take a few breaths here. Some things to think about. If there is just this pain in your back, this may not be for you, and you're going to skip it. If you know bridge pose, Setu Bandha Sarvangasana, you can do that. You can just sit this one out. But even if you've done it like a million times and today it's not working, then better to back off. So as you go into this next one, make sure that you're breathing. Something I always forget to remind people of, it's very common for you to feel nauseous, so honor that. Maybe try not staying in as long and we're going again. When you're ready. If you decide to take one heel and then the other, make sure that you're not rotating your torso. And then once you have your hands on your heels, if they're there, opportunity is there to push down through the hands to help you lift the heart more. If 
inhale, come up. And this last one is an opportunity, if you haven't already, to untuck the toes. And then you can choose to keep the block here. And just for fun, you could change it, try it between your inner thighs. This activates the inner thighs. Squeezing the block, you need strong inner thighs for this. And then you can just decide what works best for you. So as you're lifting and going back, you're thinking about turning those thigh bones in, creating space between the sitting bones, between the front and the back body. And then you do something with that. Draw down through the sitting bones, through the tailbone, lift up through the heart. Inhaling to come up. And that one is a good one to come out like a breath before you think you need to because you need a lot of strength, you notice. Release your block if it's there. And then come to sitting on your heels. Unless that's no good for you with sitting. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right hand to left thigh, left hand behind you. It's a gentle, gentle twist. So if, again, if you have your block, it's always fun to grab it instead. Or not. But you just don't want to start leaning back. Think low back muscles up and in. Think, I'm creating, how can I create brightness here? Inhale to center. Exhale, twist the other side. Inhale to center. Now stretch your legs out in front of you. Lie down onto the floor. Knees bent, feet flat. Cross right ankle over left thigh. Perhaps today you stay here or lift your left foot and draw that left shin into the body. Keep flexing your right foot. We're opening up those places that we said we would open up. We're ready. And then release, other side. When, if you're ready, lift the right foot, draw the shin into the body. Uncross the legs, Pana Asana, when releasing pose. Draw both knees into your chest. Deep breath here. Release your legs down. Straighten your legs, palms face up, eyes closed. And make any necessary adjustments. 
that you need to make so that you're comfortable. Letting go of your breath. And if after a few breaths you're still not comfortable, you can always bend your knees. Feet wide, knees come together. And you can stay there. Take a deeper breath. Wiggling toes and fingers, rolling your ankles and your wrists. On your next inhale, you find your toes pointing, your arms stretch overhead. And your exhale, find your arms back down by your side. Bending your knee, rolling onto your right side, pressing yourself up to a seated position once more. Once found, folding your hands together in front of your heart. And take a moment to assess with honesty your level of enthusiasm and excitement. Perhaps more feelings of happiness and hope. And choose for yourself to continue to build on that. Perhaps there were some things off the mat that you will do for yourself. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Namaste.